Hey YouTube, Eddie here. This morning I went to open up this gate. Uh, this gate is to a fenced in area that houses my pool pump and AC condenser. Um, when I opened the gate this morning, it fell apart. Uh, I know I've been needing to fix this for quite some time. I just haven't gotten around to it until it fell apart. Uh, what we're gonna try and do today is use this, it's called Easy Gate. I got this at Home Depot uh, for 49 bucks and it says you can install it in 20 minutes. I, I'm not so sure I believe that, but we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna give it a shot. Okay, so to replace this gate, we're basically gonna make a rectangle out of two by fours. We're gonna have the, we're gonna get the measurements for the rails and the styles and so that we have something to screw these fence pickets to. Uh, and according to the instructions, I have to find the width of the opening. And that is going to be the, that is going to be the measurement I cut my two by four. But it said to get the measurement minus one inch. So we're going to go ahead and get some measurements now. I have. 35 and three quarters. Let me write that down. And then, see how tall it is. We'll make it 59 and a half. Okay, so we have our two by fours cut to length, and again, inside the kit, you have your four corner supports, two of which have a hinge attached to the corner support. And of course, it comes with hardware and a drill bit. Drill bit so you can drill the pilot hole before you screw in this screw so you don't split the two by fours. I'm not gonna use these. Uh, I want something that's a little more substantial, something that has a bigger bite. So I'm gonna use this Ten, uh, a number 10 two inch deck screw. Uh, this is from Spax. Uh, they're not a sponsor. I just love these uh, screws because uh, you don't have to use, uh, you don't have to make pilot holes before you, you screw these in, uh, which saves a lot of time. Uh, so I'm a big fan of these. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna be using these instead. Okay. Okay, so here's the completed frame. Um, it did take about 20 minutes, 
um, but it said 20 minutes to install. So the next thing we have to do is go ahead and attach this to the fence. I will say the frame is not 100% perfect. This style, this 2x4 right here is twisted. So I had to back the, back the screws out a couple of times to get it as true as I could get it. So it's not perfect, but it's a fence gate and so it'll work. Um, so now we're going to go ahead and install it onto the fence. Okay, so for this last fence picket, um, I didn't have a lot of space left, so I went and I got, I took the measurements, and I sent this through the table saw, and then I cut out a half-inch notch, just so that the uh, this handle here, this latch, uh, won't get in the way. Okay guys, I think the gate kit from Home Depot for 49 bucks is well worth the money. It's a strong gate, it doesn't sag, and as you can see, it was super easy to put together. The one thing that I, I disagree with the box, it says that you could install it in 20 minutes. It took me about double that, um, which, which is fine, but that, that was just me, your, your mileage may vary. But uh, again, super easy. Uh, just about anyone could do that. A lot cheaper than calling a handyman in or a fence company just to replace your gate. You can do this. All right, guys. 
If you like the video, hit the subscribe button. I really appreciate that. Hit the like button, and we'll see you next time. Thanks, guys.